Alright, you ready to go? Yeah, I'm ready. I don't know if I should like... Do I explain to everybody what's been going on? What, I don't know what to do. <sighs> Mia, don't worry, babe. We're going in just a second, okay? Aww. <laughs> what do I do here? I think... I think we should explain. I don't want to explain. I'm tired of there being like problems and I'm tired of my family looking always like this. I know, but the truth is... We're white trash. Nothing and, good comes out of it. And this is proof. And everyone knows it. What's going on, you guys? Can't be on the camera here. Bitch of us here. And why do you look so good today? What's going on? I don't know. I just had to straighten my hair. Is that all it is? That's all it is. You've lost weight too, though. Like three pounds. How did I gain 10? Can't be on the camera here. And today is Tuesday and we're gonna go to the office and explain to you what's been going on the past couple of days because oh man it's been a roller coaster yeah. it has been bad it's been a roller coaster Jesus let's go to the office cover the lens I want to take a second to explain to you where we have been for the past week because if you haven't noticed we have not uploaded a video in an entire week I know I really miss everyone I miss you guys so much but unfortunately it's been out of our control because since last Wednesday my oldest nephew JC has been missing apparently Jennifer and JC got into an argument because Jennifer would not let his girlfriend move into the house which I didn't even know he had a girlfriend I know I had no idea I had to find out that JC had a girlfriend when he ran away with her and they were reported missing so JC officially ran away from home and I feel really weird saying that because he's 19 years old right? yeah he's not a runaway he's an adult that didn't want to be treated like a child anymore and he got out of there but the girlfriend still lives at home and her parents were very very worried about it. but last week me and Bridget and Jennifer and my nephews and the police and the entire community have been searching for JC because nobody knew where he was. He was officially a missing person and we couldn't film any videos because we were just searching everywhere we could. Anywhere that we thought that he might be, we were even checking my garage, right? Like, yeah. what if he came over here and he was sleeping in there? I had no idea where he was. Even weirder than that, neither one of them were on their Facebooks and they hadn't been on in a few days. So everybody was starting to get really worried that something actually happened. Yeah, because that's really not like him. They were apparently in an area where there are gators and snakes and crazy people and you never know what could happen in a situation like that. So everybody was very afraid that something was gonna happen and thank god that's not the case thank god thank god you know the police department put all this money and effort into finding him and he was hiding from him the entire time because he didn't want his girlfriend to have to go home jay you're allowed to move out if you want to you're 19 years old and i'm really happy that you got a girlfriend but you don't make the rules that's not your house your mom has a house for your brothers and you not anybody else, not your girlfriend, okay? So if you wanna live on your own, that's fine. You can do that. I love you, I'll help you buy furniture, okay? I'm not gonna buy the furniture, okay? <laughs> I'll buy you a lamp Aww. and like maybe a PS4. That's about as coherent as I can put this story because I don't even follow along with it myself. I know, it like. A very weird story. JC left the house, his girlfriend left hers and they were homeless for an entire week while they were like, eating out of the trash and sleeping in the woods and then he just showed up yeah. and he thought hey honey i'm home <laughs> and then he got arrested oh my god and i gotta be honest i don't know how long he's gonna be in there it's just such a clusterfuck bridget okay it is jonathan is in the hospital jc's in jail what's next is jacob joining a gang don't say it like god i can't take anymore dude Chris has been the absolute worst thing to ever happen to our lives i feel like everybody's bored I know, so everyone's like rebelling. Or Everybody's something. rebelling. They're tired of staying at home, and this is what happened. So, guys, we're headed over to Jennifer's house, and I just, I gotta get answers. I gotta find out what happens next, and when JC's coming home. I mean, listen, do I bail him out? Michael, that is your decision. What do you think Dad would do? I feel like Dad wouldn't bail him out. I don't think he would bail him out either. I mean, he went on the run with his girlfriend, he refused to call anybody. Everybody was terrified. They wasted resources trying to find him. Yeah. I feel like dad wouldn't bail him out. I don't think he would. I think he'd be really mad. I don't know what I'm doing, okay? I'm glad he's okay. I'm glad that he came home. I'm upset that he had to end up getting arrested, but I know. part of me wonders if that's good for him. I don't know, man. I don't know. 
I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I'm nervous. You haven't been here in a while, huh? I know. Like, why do I have so many butterflies right now? Because we don't want to catch the All right, Sparrow. Right. It's probably the breeding ground floor. We are not going inside. Should I even park in the driveway? Okay, we're not going to catch it on the driveway. Yeah, hold up, hold up, hold up. Put that on. That goes on before we talk to you at all. Yeah, Jenny. Okay, whoa, window up. <laughs> Ow! Okay, come on. All right, is it on? Okay. Good to come out? Yeah, I think we're good. Okay. All right, we're gonna come out halfway. <laughs> Crack it. What do I do? We're coming out. Okay, so what exactly happened? I'm not really clear on like last night. Oh, boy, it was a show. <laughs> what happened? It was a cluster. Um, about 11.30, I'm cleaning up, you know, just cleaning up, you know, because I've been out all day searching. And front door opens, I'm like, what the? It was Josh, mom, I'm home. What? Yeah, he just walks on in. After like, all that? After all he that. He just walks in and says, I'm home after looking for him for a week? Yeah, after looking for him for a week, he's like, mom, I'm home. I'm like, what the fuck? I said, you know, so I looked at him and I said, well, where's the girl? Well, I don't know. Oh. What does that I mean? I was like, I was like, where's the girl? I said the parents are looking for her. I Is said, she You're still here. missing? No, she's not. Okay, what well, okay, I'll let you finish. What happened? I walk outside, the girl's hiding behind my car. What? Mm-hmm. What does that mean? She was hiding behind the car. She was hiding behind my car. Was he gonna sneak her into the house? He was, he was gonna sneak her into the house. And Josh wasn't gonna come home anyway because I didn't want the girl coming to my house. I didn't want her staying here. Right, of course, it's not yeah. a house. Right, I'm, yeah. I'm like, you know, I got too much going on. And I was like, I was like, I was like, what's going on? I said, tell me what's going on. They're like, you know what, we're just gonna leave. I was like, no, don't do that. About that time, Berkeley County shows up. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, you already called them. I had already called them. Okay. <laughs> they go to run. Oh my from God! The cops? From the cops, the Berkeley County takes out the taser and goes. Shh. Oh my God! Yes. Who got tased? Joshua. JC was tased. JC was tased. Wow. Oh, he went to the hospital. Cause when you get tased, you gotta go to the hospital. Okay, how did how did I like? What? Oh my God. So I had Dorchester County out here. I had Berkeley County out here. I had Somerville out here and I had EMS. Jesus. Dude, what the hell? Do you have any pictures? I have pictures of uh, the ambulance and stuff like that. Dude, what? Okay. At this point, that's so much disrespect. I don't think we should bail him out. Uh, He's already out. Huh? Huh? He's inside. Oh my God. Was he arrested? Nope, but he does have court date and he's got to stay with me until court. Hold on, how does he not, how was he not arrested? That's resisting arrest? That's like... That beats the hell out of me. I don't get it. He's here? He's here. Right now, JC's here. Right now, he's in the house. What about the girl? She went home. Okay, what do we do? I don't know. I feel like we just need to talk to him. I I'm really mad right now, dude. Okay? This is crazy. It's been a hell of a week. Yeah, you're telling me, dude. I think I got poison ivy still from searching. I don't think I'm going to be right ever again. I've been itchy since. You'll be fine. Places where you don't want to be itchy? Are you asking about my Oh my god! Is my What the hell? What is going on? What has happened to you this week? <laughs> I don't know. She's like, Jenny's like, is your kitchen <laughs> i'm fine okay maybe we should make this like 400 feet ah! okay? and permanent why are you limping right now i don't know my leg hurts did it happen searching i don't know all right i'm not going in what i'm not coming into your house why oh i don't know because your couch is covered in oh, i got him a mask oh jesus christ huh. yeah wear that because your mother wouldn't let her come here, you were on the run with her? Why can't she, why can't you be her boyfriend and she goes home at the end of the day? I, I, I told her to go home, she, she said I don't want to go to jail and everything else. What would she go to jail for? 
Is that like information that I ju we just shouldn't be getting into? Yep. I didn't even okay. know. I'm washing my hands of that one. I don't know. Yeah, okay? we don't have nothing. You can't go running off with people. Now listen, I'm not like your mom. I don't think you were a missing person. You're 19 years old. You're an adult. You can make your own decisions. I get that. But there's a line between being an adult and being irresponsible. At some point, you're going to have to like be responsible. You're an adult now. And running off and hiding in the woods with girls while like everybody is looking for you. The manpower that went into finding you. That's... It's... It's... I don't have the words for it. Pop will be disappointed. I'm disappointed. Your mom's disappointed. Come on, man. You know better than that. We all love you. How many times do I got to tell you that I love you? I guess more often. <laughs> I, guess, <laughs> I guess there's not a limit. I guess I'm like, haven't I told you twice in your life? Okay. I love you, man. You know that. The neighbor just started playing music. So unfortunately, I got to go inside. <gasps> Ow! All right, dude, look. The biggest issue is, you realize everything that could have happened to you when you were out there? No. You could have been eaten by an alligator, bitten by a snake. So much could have happened. It's like, thank God it didn't, but it could have. Let me know if you need anything. Yeah, I mean, you, you know how, how worried I was, right? Yeah. I was scared. I thought you were inside of a gator's stomach. <laughs> oh. That would have been worst case scenario, dude. And I was thinking the worst case scenario. Like, you're my firstborn. You think I want anything to happen to you? Jeez. I'm starting to learn that now with Mia. You have no idea, Jay, how much a parent loves you. Seriously. It's, it's, it's a weird feeling. Yeah, like you think I hate you, but I don't. You wouldn't be here if I hated you. Well, I'm gonna go. Let me know if you need anything. Oh, well, I'm probably gonna go get something to eat. Be good, Jay. He hasn't eaten in four days, so. What? Dude, eat. Jesus Christ, give me hugs. Seriously. All right, I love you. Mm. You be good, okay? Mm-hmm. All right. I'd hug you, but I just don't trust you. Don't have. Yeah, okay. no, I don't trust that either. He's only been in the woods for days, so I trust him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys, I'm leaving. He's home. I honestly, God, thought he was in jail right now. I was going to leave him in jail that was the plan to leave him <laughs> in jail and now i don't know we sort of cleared everything so i don't know y'all be good all right all right get your leg looked at i will like it looks swollen she showed me off camera guys her leg looks real bad like seriously get it looked at I will. we're going home well we talk to him how'd it go i did a lot of it off camera you know just yeah man to man kind of stuff Stuff that I feel like Dad would say. That's really good. I just feel like, listen, I realized that he lost a big father figure when Grandpa passed away, okay? I of course, that. that was his dad. I, I lost my father figure, and I missed those conversations myself, so I tried to see what I could say, and in the end, him and Jennifer hugged. And good. Did you hug? I did. I did. Good. I feel bad, you know... I just, um, you know, I love JC. I just really hope. That's exactly it, man. I want the best for him. I want him to. Exactly. We don't want him to this. be a, a freaking criminal. We want him to be a good kid. I feel like our next step is to just get the house back to the way it used to look if we can. I agree. That's a project. This one's fun. It's. I don't know how fun it sounds. I mean, I don't want to, I don't think I'm going to be there for it because I like breathing normal air. That is a project of mine, though, that I want to do. Me and Bridget have been talking about it, and I, I think around now is the time to do it because it just needs to be done. I'm, I'm tired of it. I want to, I want to go over to that house again and film cooking videos. You know what I mean? Oh like, my God, yes. Like, like Grandpa's roast. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, the, that's it. That's gonna be it for today, you guys. Thanks for watching. I just wanna take a minute to say thank you to everybody this past week that has helped out and looking for JC and shared the post and just showed love and support. Like, it's meant the world to our entire family that we've had so many people, like, having our back and just trying to help find JC when he was gone. So, thank you guys so much. Steven Thompson. UFC fighter, Wonder Boy. He actually shared it on his Instagram story. Yep. 
thank you so much. It, it meant so much when we saw that. It was a huge, like, just confidence booster and just reminded us that we weren't alone in the search. And I just want to say thank you guys so much because, honestly, it meant so much. One of the things that I just, I'm thinking about is I just feel bad for Jennifer, <laughs> you know? I do too. Like, one of her sons is in the hospital. The other one went missing. While we're searching for her son, I feel like she almost tripped over something and broke her foot or something. Like, I know. She's going to the doctor to get checked out. She needs to catch a break. Seriously. And I think I got an idea. What? Uh, I'll talk about it off camera. Okay. I just want to, like, give it back to her just to say thanks, you know? Yeah. That's going to be it for today, you guys. Thanks for watching. Smack the like button if you want more vlogs this week. And I'm going to try to do as many as I can. I'm going to try to do what I did last week where I just did vlog, 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 vlog. It's hard. <laughs> it's a lot of work. Smack the like button if you want it. Thank you guys so much for the love, for the support, the words. It's meant everything. Thank you guys you so are so amazing. Thank you, guys.